Hey, what's up everyone? Jason Turley here. We're in the general skills section. In the last videos, we knocked out Obedient Cat and Python Wrangling. Now we're going to look at Wave a Flag. This is a 10 point challenge, so it should be pretty simple. But if you're brand new to Linux, if you're brand new to CTFs in general, I recommend starting with these. I got here um, by going to picogym or picoctf.org. Create an account for free, go to general skills and just do any if you're not familiar with the command line, if you're not familiar with the terminal or Python or Bash, this is a great way to get started. Clicking on wave a flag, the description reads, can you invoke help flags for a tool or binary? This program has extraordinary helpful info. So we can right click here and copy the link to download the program. And a great thing about Pico CTF in general is how handholding it is, how friendly it can be, especially for beginners. And they give you five hints so you can click on these if you have no idea where to get started this program will only work in the web shell which is the shell they provide you or on another linux computer so i'm using kali linux but you can do this through your web browser and then just click on this link right here for the web shell and that will open up an in the browser shell for you to use but i'm i'm just more comfortable using kali linux in the built-in bash shell so exit out of that go back here Another hint, tell us how to download it. I like using wget, how to run the program. I'll be going over all this anyway. Use tacH or tac tac help to figure out how the program works. Hey, but not every single program has a tacH or tac help. So it might not print out that helpful use, usage info. So let's right click, copy this link, come over here. I did not clean up from my last video, so forgive me. CD, up one directory. Now let's make a directory. What was this challenge called? We'll call it wave a flag. Spelled that wrong. Make directory wave a flag CD into that directory. Nice. Clear my screen and download the file. I'm already off to a terrible start making a bunch of mistakes. <laughs> let's run the file command on this file called warm is an executable and linkage format 64-bit executable. All that means is it's a program that we can run. On Windows, you have .exe files. Linux doesn't have that. They, their version of that is ELF, e -L -F, but it's an executable. In order to run it, I need to make it executable. I need to give it that permission and do dot slash and then the name of the file. Before I do that, let me do ls l again. We see two things. We see here, the permissions are RW, read and write, and then just read. But now we see that there's an X for executable. And also the color of the file has changed. It's now highlighted. So that's super cool. Dot slash warm. Hello user, pass me a tac H or a hyphen H, however you prefer to pronounce it, to learn what I can do. So let's do exactly that. Let me clear the screen just so I have a little bit more room to work with. Oh, help. I actually don't do much, but I do have this flag here. And then it prints out Pico CTF, biscuits and gravy. Delicious, best meal you can have aside from chicken and waffles. So there's our flag. If we want to get a little bit more fancy, we can try to reverse engineer or get underneath the hood of this program a little bit more. So we can do strings on warm and that prints out a bunch of info. That's kind of too much. It takes up my entire terminal screen. So we can pipe that into less, right? So this prints out all the ASCII strings. We see different files and we see different functions that are used. Put string and printf are two, um, two library calls in libc, the C standard library. If you want to get more comfortable with C and systems programming, I have a few videos on my channel about that already. So we know it's going to print something out to the screen. Not very surprising. And we see, what do we see here? We see that prompt. We see that text that we saw earlier. Hello, pass me attack H. And then we see that string earlier with the flag. And there's, there's like some Easter eggs here, right? I don't know what percent %s means. I do know what tag h means though so there's probably a piece of text that, that we can put in that will get it to print this out we see the name of the file that was used the c source code file warm.c we see the different header files that were imported neat stuff 
hey, we see this directory slash op slash hack sports shared staging with a flag. So I guess this was the file that the program developers used to create this, something like that. So there you have it, nice and simple, a nice little warm up program. I wonder if I can get it to print out that percent %s. There we go, I don't know what percent %s means. Uh, I don't know if I can change that with percent %p. Oh, that's nice. I don't know what hello means. Um, we can kind of just mess with this a bunch. So there you have it, nice and simple video. Let me actually paste in the flag, solve the challenge. I'm gonna do it a different way. Let me just do strings on warm. And let me grep for pico. And if we want just the flag, we do cut tech D, a delimiter. I'm gonna feed it this uh, colon here. We do field two, get the second one. So this will be one and then this should be two if my understanding is correct. And there we have it. We have just the flag. Grab that, slam it in. Submit, and we won. We did it. We're hackers. No one can beat us. As always, let me know in the comments below what you thought, if you found a different or better way to solve this challenge. Take it easy, and see you guys in the next video.